Look, Magnus is Yamaha Jack. Today we got Gunslinger BS Old West Suicidal. How y'all doing today? It's uh, January 9th. It's not a special day, I suppose, but it's the only one of its kind. Today will never happen again. How does that make you feel? Makes me feel tired. Apparently. Only what doesn't these days. Not choking anymore, so that's good. It is, uh, it is, it is a day like it, uh, it's a day like any other, you know. It's just, uh, it's it's the eighth today, but when this goes up, it'll be the ninth. It's a Saturday when this goes up, and uh, you know, like any other Saturday, there's nothing special about it, but. You think about it. Isn't it the only time you'll ever get the chance to fix something in your life on January 9th, 2021? You know, if you got if you got some kind of problem that you want to work on in your life, if you if you want to, you know, learn how to do something, or you want to start showering, you know, every other day, or if you want to start brushing your teeth twice a day, or flossing, or you know, losing weight or whatever, today. January 9th, 2021, is the only time you'll get the opportunity to start that on January 9th, 2021. You know, if you don't do it today, then uh, you'll never get that chance again. What's that really mean in the grand scheme of things? Not much, honestly. But uh, I find it can, it can have a, a helpful effect on my motivation for, for improving myself can. Not always. Hello? Um. Uh, I've lost my crosshair. So that's great, you know. Um, and uh, also my, my forward key was stuck for a moment there. Which, uh, super stuck. Don't need the crosshair though, alright? Crosshair? It's strictly speaking, uh, not necessary. In the house. It's just, uh, it's a nice to have. We can turn it back on. I know the hotkey for it. I'm not that bad at uh, remembering things. I mean, I am. I, uh, I forget things all the time. Sometimes, I think people think I'm pretending. You know? When I, like, forget something that just happened. Sometimes I think people, like, think I'm pretending to be dumb for, like, attention or something. I don't know if y'all have ever thought that. Because I forget things in, uh, like, on camera all the time, too. Things that, like, just happen. All the time. You know, things that might have happened, like, in an episode before or something like that. Like, it's just, my memory is just bad. It's, like, God-tier memory, but only for the things that it's good at, you know? A lot of the things just don't really end up being remembered, you know? Like, I'll remember a conversation I had. Like, I remember almost every conversation I've had with almost all of my friends. You know? Like, I, I could go and find it. Come see me. The pod seems to be open. You know, like, if they're like, hey, have we ever talked about this before? I could be like, yeah, you had this opinion, I had this opinion, we discussed it like this, and, uh, and it, was, it was a fairly uninteresting thing. We both kind of, like, disagreed, and then it kind of ended or whatever. And, you know, I'll be able to, like, kind of, like, narrate the whole thing over again, because I just, I remember it like it was yesterday. Or, I guess, not like it was yesterday, but like it was a year ago. Because, for some reason, I remember that better. But if you ask me, like, hey, what'd you order for uh, for lunch yesterday? I'm like, I don't know, did I order food yesterday? Did I eat yesterday? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's gone. Like, that kind of information just uh, doesn't stick around for me. It just doesn't. It's not. It's not important, you know. Like the important details, they they get stuck around. They uh, they last. But the uh, the unimportant stuff, it, it doesn't. It does it doesn't stick around? It it disappears very quickly. My memory is uh, it's almost like selective memory, you know. I have uh, I have a very good memory for the things I care about, and a really bad memory for the things I don't. 
I mean, maybe that's how it goes for like a lot of people though, right? Like I assume that most people are gonna have like a good memory for the things they actually like care about, right? Like that that's probably normal, right? It's probably normal for you to remember things you care about more. I'd imagine. It would have to be, right? Because, like, it's all it's all emotions and stuff, right? That's how memories work, is they're just, like, weird emotions. Kind of. Sort of. Kind of, kind of, sort of. Kind of the same thing. Sort of. No, not really, but, like, kind of, you know? I don't know. Things you care about probably easier to remember. It's also probably because you just care about it more. You, you like paid more attention. It was like stored easier, you know. Whereas something you didn't care about, it just it didn't really. Maybe you think about things more when you care about them, so it kind of like has more opportunity to get stuck there. Heck, if I know, dude. But I have I have a really just terrible, noteworthily bad memory for for the things I don't care about. It's just terrible. And then for anything I do care about, I have like I used to I used to um I used to get in trouble for it, you know. Not like uh, you know people being like, "Oh, you're grounded," but like I used to you know be uh, commit social uh, faux pas all the time for hello um, for it because uh, I'd, I'd be talking to people and I'd be like, "Hey, yeah, no, I remember that conversation. We had it at uh, like 7:30 the other day. Yeah, I remember." And I kind of remember what time we went to bed at. I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, you went to bed at like 9.15. Like, that's a little bit weird. And they used to get me in trouble because uh, uh, I'd, I wouldn't have that filter. I still don't, for the record. Used to, people used to try to get me to like develop that filter. You know, they were like, you have to go to therapy, develop your filter so you know what to say and what not to say. I, uh, I did. I did go to therapy for a while to, to learn about like... How to be a little bit more, oh my god. How to be a little bit more, like, socially normal, I guess. And then, then I had a realization. I'm not a bad person. Right? Like, if I'm if I'm a bad person, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. You know, I should go to therapy and, like, learn how to not, like, hurt people. You know? But, like, me remembering things and then them being creeped out on it. That's that's their problem. That's not my problem. I don't have to fix that. Okay? I'm not, I'm not hurting anybody. And if, if you're hurt by that, then like my... Uh, no, no, that's not the right word. Then uh, I don't care. It's, it's not my problem. You know, like... My god. There's too many Edars, dude. Um, you know, if, if, you're, if you're hurt by me having a like freakish memory and I remember like the conversations we've had then like that, that ain't that ain't my problem you know and I stopped caring about going to therapy and I was like you know what I'm just gonna find people who are like happy that I care so much and like will remember things you know I don't have to like change myself to, to fit people like again if I was a bad person you know like there was a period of time for sure where I was like hurting people you know because I was I was that much of an ignoramus. I mean, it's a little bit rude to autistic people, I suppose. But I was like, I was bad, right? Um, and people were definitely having their feelings hurt, like regularly, and it was definitely my fault, you know. So, so for part of the the therapy, it was definitely like, yes, that was worth it. I I needed to go to that. I needed to learn how to like, not like hurt people, <laughs> you know. But then a lot of things are like. People just need to learn how to not be hurt by me, you know? And I know that sounds like selfish, right? For me to be like, I'm not changing, you change. But then the alternative to that is, you know, other people are saying, I'm not changing, you change. And I'm like, I've already changed. I've already I've already made progress to make sure I'm not doing anything that's just like actually bad. You know, time, time for you to put in some effort as well to, to make sure that you can accept me that, that I'm a little bit weird, you know? And, uh... You know, it's worked out like, um, you know, when you get a, uh, it happened today that, that, that one of my friends who's, who's also, uh, they're not autistic, at least not diagnosed. Um, I don't know if I want to talk about it actually. Yeah, we're not going to talk about it. 
Um, anyway, you know, I, I have, uh, you know, I, I used to do things that would upset people that were my fault. And I went to therapy and I stopped doing it. And now I still do things that upset people. Like, for instance, then being like, I don't remember what time we went to bed last night. And I'm like, oh, you went to bed at 932. You're like, that's a little bit creepy. You shouldn't, like, tell people that. And I'm like, no, you should just not be creeped out by it. You're welcome for reminding you what time you went to bed last night, dummy. <laughs> like, it's not my fault I remember it. I'm not going to just pretend to not know it. You know? And, uh... Like, if I'm abrupt, or, or like... Blunt or whatever, you know, I, I don't think that uh, it's it's my fault either. You know, to, to some extent, yes. You know, I'm not going around telling people that they're dumb and I hate them. But like, you know, if if we're talking about something and I'm like, you know, I, I'm just not interested. You know, it's not my fault. I'm not, I'm not going to pretend to be interested. You know, sometimes I will. Like, honestly, what happens most of the time is like, because somebody I care about is interested in it, I will just have a natural interest in it. Like, I'll just be interested. I'll want to know more about it because they're so passionate about it and they wanted to talk about it. Like, I'm happy to do that. But then sometimes there's just something I don't care about. And I'm like, I don't, I don't care about this. <laughs> you know, like, we're not, we're not in that kind of relationship where I have to, like, put up with you talking about stuff I don't care about. You know? Like, with my sister, she talks about things I don't care about all the time, and I just listen. And I talk about things with her all the time that I, she doesn't care about, and she just listens. It's just that, that we're, in, we're in that kind of relationship with uh, with each other, where we're, you know, we put up with each other's dumbness, because we, like, care about each other a, a lot, and love each other, and, like, want the other person to have that outlet, you know? But, like, with some, like, you know, person I, I talk to every so often... I don't, I don't have that kind of relationship with you. You know, we're we're acquaintances at best. I'm not going to sit here for like 20 minutes listening to something I don't care about. And again, most of the time I'll, I'll like be interested because they want to talk about it. It's when it's just something terribly boring. Like they're talking about, I don't know, NoFap or something. You know? Like, I don't care. <laughs> I just... I, I, I don't care. And, and if you're offended by that, then like that's your problem. You know? I kind of had that realization at a certain point in uh, in my life where I was like, yeah, it's not on me to change. You know, to a certain extent, yes. I have to learn how to not be a total dick, right? Like, that's important, yes. For sure. But I've done that, you know? I'm, I'm a good person. I'm annoying, for sure. I'm uh, frustrating to deal with at times, yeah. I'm... Uh, you know, immature at times, um, a little bit stubborn. Yes, these these things are all true. Um, but I'm not a bad person. You know, like if if you tell me, hey, you shouldn't do that, I'll be like, oh, I'm sorry. You know, like talked about it before. Like I, when you when I when I do something wrong, I feel bad and I, I apologize for it. You know, and. Uh, it's just, yeah, no, I, I just, I, I gave up on, on therapy because I don't, I don't need to change. I don't, I don't, and, and as a, as a person who has, you know, a very, very prominent mental disability, um, I am autistic, you will not notice it, but, uh, it, 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 if, well, you probably will, uh, if you pay attention, um, like this conversation that we're having now, for instance, um, but I'm autistic, and uh, it, it affects me in a very big way. Um, on the surface, you know, if you meet me, if we're hanging out or whatever, you probably won't know. You know? Like, it's not it's not a visible thing. But it does affect me in a big way. What you don't see are, like, the panic attacks and the prep work and, like, everything that goes into all these social scenarios that I have to be in. Um, to, like, make sure I'm prepared and ready for it. And then I go, and I'm, like, reasonably normal. And reasonably well adjusted and I'm just a, a little bit you know at worst a little bit of a an oddity a little bit of an eccentric individual you know um, but uh, you know what, what you don't see is, is all the, the effort that goes into at least appearing to be 
just an oddity, you know? Um, so it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely there, and when you're growing up, people put a lot of pressure on you to be normal. You know, no matter how much, no matter how much you think all the teachers and parents and everybody are saying like, you know, you should just be who you are. You know, be you know, don't don't try and be anybody else. Be yourself. You know, yada yada yada. No, you will still be pulled out of class. Be like, hey, uh, we noticed that you're acting a little uh, strange during class today. We just, you know, is it okay if you 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 could uh, stop tapping so much? You know, and like. You know, hey, uh, you know, it's it's really bothering people that you're tapping your legs so much. Could you just um, could you just stop that? You know, and it's like to other people, these aren't things that matter. To me, these are my stims. I can't function unless I'm stimming, like constantly, all the time, especially during um, situations that that would cause anxiety. It's it's how like as an autistic person, it's like how I deal with that the the the. the sensory like stimulation like I, I just tap and like wiggle and stuff you know like it just it just happens and you know it's, it's all those little things like that where people are just like they'll pull you aside for like a behavior that you have that uh, to them doesn't seem like much like they'll tell you to be yourself but they'll pull you aside for all the things that make you you and be like hey could you stop that you know and it's it's all just one at a time, just one at a time. But they're slowly like, you know, homogenizing you with with the rest of the universe, and uh, it, it's super super stressful as a as an autistic person, or probably as like anybody. If you have any kind of uh, disability that's that's not visible, like OCD, ADHD, ADD, you know, whatever you got, any kind of you know thing that that's affecting you. That, that makes you different physically different but not in like a physical way you know what I mean like like with with my autism for instance um, I would uh, you know tap stim or whatever um, you know so that's that's making me physically different in the way that I, I handle situations but you wouldn't be able to see it you wouldn't be able to see that I'm autistic right um, with ADHD you might not be able to focus so well that's like a physical thing that's happening to you that's that's not like a physical disability you know what I mean and and you'll get pulled aside for it and and they'll tell you to fix it and it's like you know yeah be yourself but don't be different than everybody else you know what I mean that's that's kind of the lesson that that gets taught to to, to kids who are facing troubles like this so it was it was a big realization one day when I was like yeah no you know what like why do I have to be the one that that does 100% of the work. You know what I mean? Like, some of the work, yes. Obviously, like, I have to put in some work because, like, I'm not going to enjoy myself either if I'm not at least some modicum of, you know, normal so I can at least understand what the heck's happening in the world. But, like, you know, I don't, I don't have to go 100% of the way. I, I don't even think I have to go 50 I don't think it's even a 50-50 thing. You know? I, I, I don't. I don't think that I'm the one that has to put in even half the work. Because I'm the one that was born disabled. I'm the one that was born with the problem. Why am I the one that has to put in all of the work to, like, fix it, you know? Because it's like, it's not a big problem. Right? If you've got a friend who's a little bit weird and a little bit awkward and whatever, why, why is that a problem? You know? Who cares? Just, just have a friend that's a little bit awkward. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's okay. Um, yeah, they, 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 they pull you aside to like fix all these things. Right after like they'll have this, this speech about how it's okay to be yourself. And they'll be like, oh, by the way, could you just change yourself a little bit here? You're just a little bit annoying. I'm like, yeah, okay. And, you know, they pick out another thing and they pick out another thing and they pick out another thing. And eventually they picked all the things that like make you you. And then you're just filled with all this anxiety and panic. And it's just a uh, terrible, terrible experience. Anyway. I, I had that realization, and I was like, "Yeah, no," and then and these days I have friends who 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 accept me for who I am, and 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 they're happy with that. And I'm like, "Yeah," like this this is how it should be, you know. I should put in a little bit of work to not be a total, you know, idiot because I can, I'm capable of it. But I don't have to put in all the work. 
people can just not be jerks too and just accept that I'm a little bit different, a little bit weird. I'm not like hurting them, right? Anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future comments if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.